I think what was inside me that just said I had to do something. I was told early on that um, that this country was worth fighting and dying for, you know, democracy and, and equality and justice for all, and I believed it. And it took me a long time to realize that that's not the way the whole country feels. All of my life, I've been out marching for voting rights, primarily, and justice and equality. But I want everybody to consider for the 2020 election coming up, it's more than that. We're fighting now and voting now for the integrity of the institutions that define a democracy, all under attack. And to me, that's even more important or equally as important as the right to vote. Because if you don't have the right to, if you don't have democratic institutions that are strong and vibrant, then what is a vote? Nothing. I walked in and I saw men and women who reminded me every day that being Puerto Rican is beautiful. Being from the Caribbean is beautiful. Fighting back is beautiful. Justice is beautiful. And, and that's what I wanted to get out there. I wanted to be the voice of woman. And also, I heard a lot of people saying, oh, you know, woman, uh, you know, they just, what are they gonna do? Nothing, nothing. I said, don't tell me you need to empower me. I am already empowered. You know what? I give the birth to that man who is sitting in the White House. I give birth to that man who is being a Congress. I am the one who taught them how to tie their shoes and tie their tie. Woohoo! That I need to be empowered. That's God right. give me the power. If I can go through the pain of labor and get pregnant again and give another child, I am already empowered. So what are you talking about? But what we needed to do is to put our thought in a perspective way, in a structural way. And we need to be able to go out and have the confidence and stand up and speak to them. And all I need from you men out there is to respect me. Okay? That's all I need.